The saguaro lobby terrarium was constructed along with the building and connects from floor to ceiling. It features Sonoran desert habitat and has a rocky area with burrows, a pond with native fish, and several live plants. A diversity of species live in the terrarium, including several rattlesnakes, non-venomous snakes, and a Gila monster. The montane terrarium is viewable from both the hallway of our saguaro building and from inside one of our life science laboratories. The word montane refers to mountainous country, and the habitat features rattlesnakes from different mountain habitats in Arizona. The Anurin Terrarium is viewable from both the hallway of our saguaro building and from inside one of our life science laboratories. The word Anurin means tailless amphibian, such as a frog or a toad. The habitat features a diversity of frogs and toads native to the state of Arizona. The Coral Reef Aquarium contains a variety of vertebrate and invertebrate species that live in coral reefs around the world. Coral reefs are incredibly biodiverse ecosystems containing tens of thousands of marine species. This display shows, on a small scale, the extraordinary diversity of life found in these coral reef habitats. Palithoa coral is a colonial type coral that produces a potent palitoxin which works as a vasoconstrictor, narrowing the blood vessels in human and animal species if touched or ingested. Passion salmasis urchins are found off the coast of Singapore. They use their tube feet to hunt for food and move across the coral reefs that they live in. The big eye squirrel fish is found along the coral reefs of the West Indo-Pacific Ocean. It is known to be mostly nocturnal, feeding during the night and spending most of the day hiding out in the reef. Starry blennies are found in the tropical and subtropical waters of the Indo-Pacific and Pacific Oceans. They have whisker-like appendages that protrude from between their eyes and are equipped with combed teeth for algae grazing. The starry blenny also loves to perch on rocks and corals, which provide them ample space to swim, hide, and pick off algae from hard surfaces. Clownfish have a unique symbiotic relationship with the anemones that they live in. They are able to withstand the toxic sting the anemone produces, which gives them protection from predators. The clownfish assist the anemone by removing algae and food leftovers from their tentacles. Anemone crabs stay close to anemones, seeking shelter in their stinging tentacles when predators approach. They filter water by using their feather-like maxillip heads to collect planktonic food. The royal gramma is a species of basslet found in the western Atlantic Ocean. These fish are planktivores, eating mostly zooplankton and crustaceans. They are also observed to be a cleaner fish and remove ectoparasites on the skin of other fish. Chocolate chip sea stars earn their name from the chocolate chip-like patterns and coloration that cover the surface of their bodies. They consume a wide variety of ocean floor invertebrates, including soft corals, sponges, clams, and even other starfish. Skunk cleaner shrimp get their name from their striking colors, peaceful nature, and useful symbiotic cleaning relationship with fish and other marine mammals. They will pick off and consume any parasites or dead tissue from fish, which makes up a large part of their diet. Coral banded shrimp are a type of cleaner shrimp that advertise their services to passing fish by slowly waving their long white antennae. They are also called boxing shrimp, their propensity to hit prey with their pinchers. The regal blue tang is a surgeon fish found all across the Indo-Pacific. They are somewhat social and are usually found in pairs or in small groups with other surgeon fish and tangs. They have a sharp and venomous spine at the base of their caudal fin to protect themselves from predators. The caudal spine produces a painful toxin that can cause swelling and discoloration. The sailfin tang is a type of surgeon fish that gets its name from the sharp spines at the base of their tails. Adults usually can be found in pairs, while juveniles are solitary. When threatened, these fish display their large ventral and dorsal fins. They feed primarily on algae, macroalgae, and plankton. The Sonoran Desert Toad is the largest species of toad native to the United States. They spend much of the year in burrows and become most active during the monsoon season. These toads have large paratoid glands just behind their eyes, which produce a potent toxin. Woodhouse toads have a long white stripe down the center of their back, which makes it easily identifiable. During breeding season, the males gather in small pools of water and to attract females to mate. Their call sounds similar to the call of a sheep and can be heard across long distances. The Great Plains toad is widespread across the state of Arizona. 
These toads carry 30% of their body weight as water, which helps protect them from drying out. Red-spotted toads have red speckling across their skin as juveniles, and as they age, their spots begin to fade and turn brown. Red-spotted toads can tolerate 40% loss in body water and still remain active during drier months. Canyon tree frogs can typically be found along the side of canyons close to standing bodies of water or streams. These frogs have a bright yellow coloration on their inner thighs and underbelly, with large adhesive toe pads that allow them to cling to surfaces. Skin secretions from this species of frog can irritate the eyes and nose. Couch's spadefoots have tiny keratin plates on their back feet that are used to burrow down into the soil. They spend most of the year underground, but when the monsoon rains come, they feel the vibrations of the rain on the ground and unearth themselves. They emerge to breed and have the ability to go from egg to tadpole to adult in just a couple of weeks. If necessary, they are able to consume enough food in a day to survive for a year. The Gila monster is the only venomous lizard native to the United States. They often eat only four or five times a year, living off fat stored in their tail. They spend much of their time in underground burrows. This lizard produces a venom that is released through the salivary glands in their lower jaw. The venom moves through grooves in their teeth and into the bite wound. Although their bites cause extreme pain, the venom is not fatal to humans. Tiger salamanders are the only species of salamander native to the state of Arizona. They usually stay within a couple miles of the water area they were born in. They spend a majority of their time underground hunting for food such as worms and insects. The desert hairy scorpion gains its name from the tiny sensory hairs that cover its body. They are known to be active burrowers and are often found under rocks. Despite being the largest species of scorpion found in North America, it doesn't have a very potent venom. Their venomous sting is commonly perceived to be about as painful as a honeybee sting. Bark scorpions produce a painful and highly venomous sting that can be potentially lethal, especially for small children and immunocompromised people. The bark scorpion can oftentimes be found in residential houses because they are attracted to high humidity and can fit through any gap that a credit card can slide under. They are also known to be cannibalistic, occasionally feeding on a fellow scorpion. Western banded geckos are the only species of gecko native to the state of Arizona. These tiny geckos live mostly in the sand and when threatened will wave their tails in the air to mimic the look of a scorpion. They will also control growing scorpion populations by eating baby scorpions. The Mojave rattlesnake is one of the most venomous snakes found in North America and can deliver a very potent neurotoxic venom. It is oftentimes confused with the western diamondback rattlesnake due to similarities in overlapping skin patterns and appearance. They can be distinguished by the angle of their eye stripe, the uniform coloration of the blotches on their back, and their relatively thin tail rings. The tiger rattlesnake is found in desert scrubs, foothills, and rocky habitats in central and southeastern Arizona. The tiger rattlesnake has a relatively small head, cross-banding across the body, and peach or orange coloration on the lower sides of the body. They deliver a very potent neurotoxic venom. The Hopi rattlesnake is a subspecies of the prairie rattlesnake found in northeastern Arizona across the desert plateau region. They are relatively small species of rattlesnake, reaching just over two feet in length. Black-tailed rattlesnakes are found across nearly all of central and southern Arizona. Their distinct black tails distinguish them from other rattlesnakes. They have a mildly potent hematoxic venom. Speckled rattlesnakes are distributed across western and southwestern Arizona. Depending on where they are from, they express different color variations, such as off-white, peach, rusty orange, pale gray, and pale blue-gray. These colors help them blend into the surrounding rocks as a form of protection from predators or as a disguise for potential prey. Western diamondback rattlesnakes are distinguished by the dark diamond-shaped patterns along their backs, with distinctive black and white bands just above their rattle. Their signature rattle sound is one of the most recognizable sounds in nature. They commonly grow up to four feet in length, but can grow longer than seven feet, making them the largest of the southwest rattlesnakes. They have a high yield of hemotoxic venom. The Arizona black rattlesnake is distributed across mountain habitats. As juveniles, they have a lighter gray tone with brown blotches and facial markings. The coloration deepens to the dark brown or black with some yellow flecking as they mature. 
Banded rock rattlesnakes are found in many of the Sky Island ranges of southeastern Arizona. They spend most of their lives in rocky outcroppings and talus slopes. They rely heavily on their camouflage and will often not strike or even rattle their tails unless physically harassed. Along with the lizards, birds, and rodents eaten by most rattlesnakes, rock rattlesnakes will also eat centipedes.